हाय एवरीवन गुड इवनिंग हाय एवरीवन गुड इवनिंग सो डियर एनस यू कैन रिप्लाई कि मैं ऑडियबल हूं या नहीं ऑडियबल और विजिबल प्लीज रिप्लाई कीजिएगा कमेंट बॉक्स में ओके सो थैंक यू सो मच मुझे लगा कि शायद मैं ऑडियबल और विजिबल नहीं हूं सो so इसीलिए मैं थोड़ा सा वेट कर रहा था बट आई थिंक ये क्लियर है और मैं ऑडियबल और विजिबल हूं सो थैंक यू सो मच सो लर्नर शुरू करते हैं आज की क्लास को और दिस इज अ प्रैक्टिस सेशन बेसिकली दोस्तों इस प्रैक्टिस सेशन में मैं आपके साथ लेकर के आया हूँ uh, कुछ क्वेश्चन जो दोस्तों होंगे नियो क्लासिकल एरा से और इस नियो क्लासिकल एरा के बारे में दोस्तों मैं आपसे बात करूंगा सो so, दोस्तों आज की क्लास वैसे सभी लर्नर्स आई थिंक की लाइव आ चुके हैं हमारे साथ रामलाल पल्लवी हैं और मोमिता हैं, दिन गार्गी सीमा रश्मि अर्पिता रिंकी और रिचा बहुत सारे लर्नर्स मेरे साथ लाइव हैं इस समय सो so, सभी लर्नर्स का बहुत बहुत स्वागत है दोस्तों हमारी इस आज के इस अन के स्पेशल सेशन में और स्पेशल क्लास में दोस्तों अगर आपको नोटिफिकेशन नहीं मिल रही है मेरी क्लासेस की सो प्लीज आप मेरे इस टेलीग्राम ग्रुप को ज्वाइन करें जब आप मेरे टेलीग्राम ग्रुप को ज्वाइन कर लेंगे सो फ्रॉम देयर यू कैन रिसीव एवरी नोटिफिकेशन जो भी मेरी स्पेशल क्लासेस आएंगी ओके okay, सो so दोस्तों चलिए हम शुरू कर देते हैं आज की क्लास लेकिन दोस्तों इस क्लास को शुरू करने से पहले दोस्तों मैं आपको कुछ बताना चाहूंगा दोस्तों आप हमारे सब्सक्रिप्शन को ले सकते हैं और ये सब्सक्रिप्शन दोस्तों मैं आपको बता दू की बिल्कुल एक बेहतर रेट uh, पर अवेलेबल है आप सबके लिए ओके सो दोस्तों प्लीज आप हमारे अगर सब्सक्रिप्शन लेना चाहें सो अन अकेडमी में आ, आप हमारे सब्सक्रिप्शन को ले सकते हैं दोस्तों थ्री मंथ सिक्स मंथ ट्वेल्व मंथ या फिर टू ईयर के तो दोस्तों ये डिफरेंट टाइप के सब्सक्रिप्शन आप सबके लिए अवेलेबल है जिन्हें आप ले सकते हैं दोस्तों अन अकेडमी के प्लेटफॉर्म पर ये मेरे कुछ कोर्सेज हैं जो इस समय लाइव चल रहे हैं ऑन गोइंग प्लस कोर्सेज है जिसमें से बैच कोर्स है जो जून 2020 के लिए ऑलरेडी ऑन प्लेटफॉर्म रनिंग है एंड देन कंप्लीट कोर्स है जिसमें दोस्तों मैं आपके लिए लेकर के आया हूं ऑल टेन यूनिट्स को और एक बेहतरीन रिप्रेजेंटेशन के साथ साथ में दोस्तों कैप्सूल कोर्स मैं आपके लिए लेकर के आया हूं और ये है दोस्तों अमरीकन राइटिंग पर है आपका अमरीकन राइटिंग इन इंग्लिश तो ये कंप्लीट कोर्स आपके लिए दोस्तों अवेलेबल होगा इसके साथ साथ दोस्तों क्रैश कोर्स और कंप्रिहेंसिव कोर्स और एमसीक्यूज कोर्स जल्दी ही दोस्तों आपके बीच में आने वाला है तो आप दोस्तों चाहें तो हमारे अन अकेडमी के कोर्स को कंप्लीट कोर्स को ज्वाइन कर सकते हैं स्पेशल क्लासेस में स्टेट यून रहने के लिए दोस्तों आपके पास एक ऑप्शन है एवरी मंथ यानी कि दोस्तों मैं आपको प्रोवाइड करता हूँ सेवनटीन आर की स्पेशल फ्री क्लासेस तो दोस्तों आप इनमें स्टेट यून रह करके अगर आप नहीं सब्सक्रिप्शन ले सकते तो इंजॉय कर सकते हैं दोस्तों फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन आपकी स्क्रीन पर इस समय दिस इज द वेरी फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन ऑफ टूडेज क्लास तो यस दिस इज द क्वेश्चन एंड प्लीज आप अपने आंसर्स को कमेंट बॉक्स में लिखेंगे सो दिस इज द क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन द हिंड एंड पैंथर ट्रांसवर्स टू द स्टोरी ऑफ द कंट्री माउस एंड द सिटी माउस इज अटायर ऑन सो यू हैव फोर ऑप्शन फ्रॉम दीज फोर ऑप्शन यू कैन सिलेक्ट द राइट आंसर सो यस यू हैव अलेक्जेंडर पोप जोनाथन स्वीप John Dryden and Samuel Butler. So please write down the right answer on comment box. Hurry up. So which one will be the right answer? Uh, good evening, everyone. So yes, I am going to show you the right answer. I think की थोड़ा सा coloring जो मेरी image आ रही है, so इस image में थोड़ा सा coloring uh, different लग रही है, थोड़ा greenery ज़्यादा आ रही है. 
सो मे बी की थोड़ा डिफरेंट है लेकिन दोस्तों मैं इस क्रिंडरी को सही कर सकता हूँ वेट करना पड़ेगा लेकिन आ, क्लास कर लेते हैं कल से जो भी क्लासेस आएगी उसमें मैं सही कर दूंगा ओके यस सो यस आई गॉट द आंसर यस लर्नर्स आर सेइंग दैट इज द राइट आंसर ओके सो नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू द राइट आंसर ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन द राइट आंसर ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन इज सी सी इज द राइट आंसर ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन सो यू कैन सी दिस वन इज द राइट आंसर जॉन ट्राइड नेक्स्ट वन दोस्तों अगर आपके सामने में एक क्वेश्चन लेकर के आऊंगा दिस इज द नेक्स्ट वन क्वेश्चन ऑन योर स्क्रीन सो नाउ यू कैन सी दिस इज द नेक्स्ट वन क्वेश्चन द फर्स्ट ऑफिशियल रॉयल पोएट लॉरियट इन इंग्लिश लिटरेरी हिस्ट्री वॉज सो दोस्तों बहुत इजी क्वेश्चन है आपके लिए दीज ऑल आर प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन सो दोस्तों इन प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन को आपको सॉल्व करना है यस yes, uh, बिल्कुल सूरज आप अपना जो भी स्कोरिंग है दोस्तों तो आप अपनी स्कोरिंग्स भी इवन शेयर कर सकते हैं ऑन कमेंट बॉक्स एज आई कैन सी सो प्लीज दोस्तों जल्दी से आंसर कीजिएगा और काफी क्वेश्चन है मेरे साथ तो इन काफी क्वेश्चन को हम कवर अप करेंगे ओके सो यस आई गॉट आंसर फ्रॉम रामलाल यस सी इट्स एंड देन सीमा सी कोयल सी एंड पल्लवी इज आल्सो सेइंग सी यस सो दोस्तों चलिए मैं जल्दी से आपको राइट आंसर दिखा देता हूं दोस्तों थोड़ा सा इजी से हम जो भी आपके क्वेश्चंस होंगे लोअर जो हायर हम चलेंगे सो जो आपके क्वेश्चंस होंगे वो काफी बेटर आएंगे ओके या सो व्हिच वन इज द राइट आंसर या सी इज द राइट आंसर यस C is the right answer, John Dryden. Yeah, John Dryden is the right answer of this question. Okay, so yes, thank you so much. So dear learners, आपके कितने questions सही हैं? Please आप count जरूर करेंगे. Next one question, this is on your screen. John Dryden described a major English poet as a rough diamond and must first be polished or his styles. So yes, you have option Geoffrey Chaucer, John Gower, and then you have George Herbert, and then you have Robert Herrick. So yes, uh, yes, please. Uh, you can share your answer. Uh, no, uh, Ben Johnson uh, official nahi hai. Non official you can say, but official poet laureate was John Dryden. Okay. So yes, uh, uh, Rasmi from Rasmi have got the answer, and Momita is also Chaucer, and then R and Zoom uh, is saying first one. So yes, dear learners, now I'm going to show you the right answer of this question. So the right answer of this question, this is the previous year question. Okay, so previous year questions को मैं आज new classical era की जितने भी previous year questions आए हैं, वो सब मैं आपके साथ cover करने वाला हूँ. So yes, dear learners, now you can see the right answer on your screen. So this one is the right answer. Yes, you can see this one is the right answer. Geoffrey Chaucer, John Dryden ने कहा है कि a major English poet and who is this major English poet? So he is Geoffrey Chaucer. Geoffrey Chaucer, yes, उनके लिए इन्होंने कहा a rough diamond. Geoffrey Chaucer is a rough diamond and must first be polished early signs. So yes, this one is the right answer. Next one question on your screen. This is the medal, a poem written by John Dryden in 1681. It's subtitled. So you have option like satire against tradition, a satire against tranny, and then you have a satire against creed, and then you have other option. Fourth one, this is a satire against apostasy. Okay, so please now you can select the right answer. Please hurry up, write down uh, answer on comment box. Okay, so yes, Suraj, uh, Suraj, Seema, and uh, other learners like Arpita and Ramlal, and then Koyal, and then Manisha. So all the learners are saying that, that this one will be the right answer. First one will be the right answer. Okay, so yes, subtitle of this work, the Medal. What is the subtitle of this particular work? Because this work was appeared in the year uh, yes, 1681. And dear learners, the uh, subtitle of this particular work is "Satire Against Tradition." Yes, A is the right answer. बहुत 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 अच्छा response है मेरे learners का. So yes, this one is the right answer. Medal जो poem है, John Dryden की है. This was appeared in 1681. And subtitle is "A Satire Against Tradition." First one is the right answer. Next one question. He found it brick and left it marble. 
remarked one great writer on another. Who were these? So now you have option Milton on Shakespeare. Then you have Dryden on Milton. And then you have Johnson on Dryden and then Johnson on William Shakespeare. So yes, you have four options. And from these four options, now you can select the right answer. Okay, so uh, dear learners, yes, uh, I'm getting your responses. So Sachin is saying B and Daisy Kumari A, Rinky B. And Suraj is saying B and Seema C, R and Zoom 1. So I think there are different different answers. Momita is saying C, Arpita B and then uh, Mary R, Zoo 1. Okay, and then Koyal 1, Rasmi B. So dear learners, now I am going to show you the right answer of this particular question. So what will be the right answer of this question? So the right answer is H, C, Johnson on Dryden. Johnson on Dryden. Okay, yes, this one is the right answer. C is the right answer. So, kitne logo ka galat hua? Zalli se bata sakte hain Okay, so yes, Mary Arzu ka galat ho gaya. Momita is right and Arpita B. Okay, Arpita is also wrong and then Koyal uh, wrong and then Rasmi is also wrong. Okay, yeah, Momita uh, 5 on 5. Okay, wow, great. So, great score Momita and then uh, main Indra. Okay, Mera Indra. Okay, Mary Arzu, it means uh, Indra. Okay, so please, aapko... Uh, right naam likhna chahiye kyunki jo name hame profile mein show karega that will be the uh, that will be your name okay yes rasmi 45 okay so next one question on your screen this is uh, john dryden in his heroic tragedy all for love takes the story of shakespeare's yes one of the easiest question but dear learners don't forget these all are pyqs और दोस्तों मैं PYQs not only on this platform अपने YouTube channel literature lovers पर भी event में दोस्तों आपको करा रहा हूँ और इस platform पर भी दोस्तों मैं आपको बता दूँ कि मैं करा रहा हूँ so just please write down the right answer on comment box and I think learners बहुत सही होंगे इसके बाद दोस्तों जो questions आएंगे काफी next level के होंगे और काफी मैंने critical questions भी लिए हैं और easy questions भी लिए हैं so yes, uh, C will be the right answer. Now you can see the right answer. Wow, thank you so much learners. Great response. I'm so happy to see your response. Yes, so C is the right answer. Yes, it's C. C is the right answer of this question. It's Antony and Cleopatra. So yeah, Antony and Cleopatra is a play by William Shakespeare. And from this particular play, uh, John Dryden has derived his story of his particular work that is all for love. All for Love stories जो है, वो William Shakespeare के Antony and Cleopatra पर exactly based है. Great Seema 6 upon, uh, upon 6 and Suraj 5 upon 6 and then Momita 6, 6. Okay, great, great. Thank you so much. Next one question. In an essay of dramatic poetry, whom does John Dryden refer to as the most learned and judicious writer which any theatre ever had? So now you have options. John Webster, Christopher Marlowe, and then you have Ben Johnson, William Shakespeare. So yes, dear learners, Rinky 5, uh, 6 upon 5, okay. Yes, so which one will be the right answer? Rasmi Kaur, Johnson, Gargi is saying C, Ramlal, third one, and Suraj, C, okay, Daisy, C, Richa Ramya, okay, C. Okay, so let's see what is the right answer. So now, now we are going to see the right answer of this particular question. So what is the right answer of this question? So see, this is the right answer of this question. Yeah, see, it's Ben Johnson. And dear learners, I would also like to inform you ki please, jo meri upcoming classes hai, uh, from uh, next day, yani ki 25th of Fab se, dosto, mein aapko bata do ki daily meri uh, live practice session hai mere Anacademy ke platform par so dosto you are most welcome aap aa sakte hain aur meri Anacademy ki classes ko enjoy kar sakte hain dosto timing same 5 pm aapke liye timing hai next one question on your screen so this is the author of a satire against reason and mankind is so you have option like Roster and then Dryden, Gray and Swift uh, great learners thank you so much for uh, actively participating Yes, thank you so much for your active uh, participation. So uh, now you can see this one uh, question. So please. Uh, 
okay okay so if you don't know so you can uh, give your any option you can choose any option so please uh, you can select so now i'm going to show you the right answer uh, different different answers daisy b richard dryden and suraj fourth and then uh, other sachin b and gargi also is saying b okay so now i'm going to show you the right answer of this question so the right answer of this particular question is the author of a satire against reason and mankind is a it's roster first one is the right answer of this particular question so yes you got the right answer so please you must remember the author of a satire against reason author is rochester so this one first one is the right answer of this particular question okay and this is pyqs yani ki aapke previous year exam mein aaya tha then next one question the medal a poem written by uh, okay next one question this is the next one dryden's dramatization of paradise lost is entitled Dra dryden's Dramatization of Paradise Lost is entitled So You Have All for Love, The State of Innocence, Ennis Mirabilis, and then you have Religio Medici. So, which one will be the right answer? So, from here you can select the right answer. Okay? Yeah, please select the right answer and write it down on comment box. Okay, so yes, I got the right answer. B, uh, all the learners are saying B and Daisy is saying A and then Manisha C. So now I'm going to show you the right answer of this question. So the right answer is it's Dryden's dramatization of Paradise Lost is entitled. So yes, the state of innocence B is the right answer. Yes, B is the right answer. The state of innocence B right answer. Okay, so learners, please apply score up. Zarur count kijiega. Next one question on your screen. Sir, plume is a character in. So yes, you have Dryden's Absalom and Achitophel, Congreve's The Way of the World, and Pope's The Rape of the Lock, and then Farker's The Bukes Stratagem. So which one will be the right answer? Please. Sir Plume is a character in. So please select the right answer and write it down on comment box. I am waiting. Uh, okay, I have got yes response from learners like Koyal C and then Sachin. Okay, okay learners. So yes, maybe. Okay, yeah. So yes, now I'm going to show you the right answer of this particular question. So the right answer is Sir Plume is a character in Pope's The Rape of the Lock. So C is the right answer of this particular question. Kitne logo ka sahi hua? Jaldi se aap apna score likhe comment box me. Main score aapke dekh sakta hu. So kitne logo ka sahi hua? Jaldi se aap bata sakte hain mujhe, please. So please, jaldi se apna answer dijiye. ओके सो तब तक मैं दोस्तों आपको नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन शो करूंगा और नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन दोस्तों एट टेन रश्मि एट टेन एंड सूरज नाइन टेन सचिन ओके मी रिंकी सिक्स नाइन सर प्लीज एक्सप्लेन टू फाइव ओके डेजी फोर फाइव ओके लर्नर्स देखिए प्लीज मैं आपको बता दूं दोस्तों कि यहां पर मैं एक्सप्लेन नहीं जिस जस्ट दिस इज अ प्रैक्टिस सेशन और जहां पर मैं एक्सप्लेन करने के लिए लेकर के आऊंगा वहां पर बहुत लिमिटेड क्वेश्चंस होते हैं सो दिस सेशन इज पर्टिकुलर अ प्रैक्टिस सेशन सो यू हैव टू प्रैक्टिस एंड देन आपको आंसर करने की जरूरत है थ्रू एज वाइज जब आप प्रैक्टिस करेंगे सो देन जो आपका नॉलेज है वो इनरिस्ट होगा ओके सो नेक्स्ट वन क्वेश्चन द सबटाइटल ऑफ ड्राइडेंस एंड एब्सलम एंड एक्टोफिल इज दिस वाज द a question on your net exam so now you can see the right answer from here select the right answer from here from these options so you have uh, there was no subtitle a satire a satire on the two blue protestant poets and then you have d1 this is a poem so which one is the right answer which one is correct answer uh, uh, yes uh, ramlal me okay so what you are going to say uh, ramlal please so then R Anjum B Richa C and and then Indra is A Gargi B Shima C Artita B. Okay, so which one is the right answer? Correct answer, please. 
So let's see what is the right answer of this question. So now I'm going to show on your screen the right answer of this particular question. So the right answer of this particular question is okay. Yes, got response from Deji Suraj and Manisha and all. Okay, so yes, the right answer of this question is the absolute and acetophil is a satire. दोस्तों यहाँ पर जो answer लिखा हुआ है, I think जो A लिखा हुआ है, this one is not correct. But B जो answer है, दोस्तों B जो answer है इसका, वो correct answer है क्योंकि यहाँ पर by the mistake है. So जो subtitle है, absolute and acetophil ये a satire है. एक a satire इसका subtitle दिया गया है. Okay? By the way अगर completely देखा जाए, तो completely कोई title नहीं था. बट अगर उस तरह से हम देखें सो एब्सोलेम एंड एकिटोफिल इज अ शटायर ओके सो यस बी इज द राइट आंसर ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर क्वेश्चन नेक्स्ट वन द लाइंस द लाइंस इवन आई डंस ऑफ मोर रेनाउन देन दी वाज सेंट बिफोर बट टू प्रिपेयर दाय वे आर कोटेड फ्रॉम सो यस यू हैव ऑप्शन लाइक पोप्स डंसियार्ड ड्रायडेंस एब्सोलेम एंड एकिटोफिल ड्रायडेंस मैकफ्लेकनो and then sweeps a tail of a tongue. Sometimes जो दोस्तों UGC है, so sometimes you can see कि UGC sometimes incorrect answers को choose कर लेता है. And then after that जब correction आता है, so उस correction में उसको clear करता है. Okay? Yes. So वो जो correction है, वो एक बार जो upload हो गया, so वो different हो जाता है. So yes, इस question का answer दीजिए. Uh, which one is the right answer? Yeah, Suraj. Okay, Shima is saying C. Arpita is C. Richa is also saying C. Sachin also saying C. Okay. Mac Flecknu. Oh, yeah. Rashmi is saying Mac Flecknu. It means C. Okay, so now I am going to show you the right answer of this particular question. So the right answer of this question is it's C is the right answer. Dryden's Mac Flecknu. Dryden's Mac Flecknu. So dear learners, please uh, tell me uh, when Mac Flecknow was published. Yes, Dryden's Mac Flecknow was published in the year. Write down the year on comment box, please. Which, in which year it was published? Please, jaldi se write kijiye answer ko comment box mein so that ki mujhe answer mile. Hurry up. In which year it was published, please? Dryden's Mac Flecknow. Oh, yeah. Uh, sometimes you can see कि आपको जो dates मिलती हैं थोड़ा सा different मिलती हैं. Uh, you will find कि 1881 कई जगह पर आपको लिखा मिलेगा. 1882, 1, 2 और. So दोस्तों जो एक इसकी writing का term, uh, pattern है. So writing 1881 में हुई थी और जो publication था वो 2 का था. Okay? Next one question on Joe's screen. This is the main idea of Pope's, uh, Pope's the Dunciad was taken from. The main idea of Pope's the Dunciad was taken from. So you have option Absolim and Akitophil. Mac Flacno, then the medal and epistle to Dr. Aradatna. So yes, please. Which one will be the right answer? Please write down your answer on comment box. I am waiting. Just please. Okay. So now I am going to show you the right answer. Thank you so much learners for your great response, for your quick response. And I am so happy dear learners that you are doing a lot of response and I am very easily and smoothly taking your class. So, it's a lot of good feeling. Uh, okay? So, yes dear learners, now. Okay, so yes, now I am going to show you the right answer of this particular question. The main idea of Pope's Dunciad was taken from Mac Flacknow. Mac Flacknow is the right answer of this particular question. Okay, Mac Flacknow. Next one question on your screen. This is great wits are sewn to madness near a light, and then thin partitions do their bound divide. So the above line appears in you have option Mac Flacknow, Absolim and Akitophil, AC on man, and then you have Alexander's feast. So you have four options. So from 
these four options you can select the right answer Okay, learners, so yes, I think I got the right answer, but just wait a minute, please. Okay, learners, so now I'm going to show you the right answer of this particular question. So the right answer of this particular question is it's yes, you can see on your screen. So this one is the right answer. Okay. Yeah, B is the right answer. Absolim and Akitophil will be the right answer. Absolim and Akitophil will be the right answer. Next one question on your screen. So this is the next one question you can see on your screen. John Dryden's Absolim and Akitophil and yeah, John Bryden's Absolim and Akitophil is a religious tract, political allegory, comic verse, epic or comedy. So which one is the right answer? Please select easier the right answer. Ko jaldi si. Oh, uh, Indrai Singh, yaad nahi aara hai, padhi hai. Okay. Yeah, so which one is the right answer? Yeah, I got a right answer on comment box. Wow, learner, thank you so much uh, or for your awesome response. So now I'm going to show you the right answer of this particular question. The right answer is John Dryden's Absolute and Actophil is a political allegory. Yeah, it's a political allegory. Which kind of? This is a political allegory. Next one question on your screen. This is what literary work best captures a sense of the political turmoil, particularly regarding the issue of uh, religion just after the restoration. So now you have options. Yeah, Momita, uh, wow, great 14 upon 14, Suras 10, 15, great. Uh, thank you so much. Wow, great. So... So, uh, learners, you आवाज आ रही है या नहीं? Please reply कर दीजिए. Okay, so that was I think a network problem. But now we are proceeding. Uh, next one question on your screen. So the next one question on your screen, I am going to show you the next one question. So, uh, yeah, here is the next one question. So please. I'm really sorry that that was a network problem. So now you have next one question. Now stop your noses, reader, all and some. For here is a turn of midnight work to come. Ozzy, from a treason tavern rolling home, round as a globe and liquor, jewelry, chick, goodbye. Goodly and great, he rails behind this link. So above extract from Absalom and Akitophil, OZ is. So... Uh, dear learners, from these uh, four options, Eklna, Settle, Lord, Harvey, Thomas, Sadwell, Joseph, Edison, you can select the right answer. So please select the right answer and write it down on comment box. Okay, so please select the right answer and please write it down on comment box. Okay, so yes, now I'm going to show you the right answer of this particular question. So the right answer is C, it's Thomas Sadwell. Yes, Thomas Sadwell is the right answer of this particular question. Next one question you have on your screen, identify the correct chronological sequence of publication. So this one is the question. In your previous exam, 2019, December 2019. You have seen a number of questions from chronological order part. So, dear learners, this one is one of that those questions. So, please, you can select the right chronological order. 
So from these four particular uh, uh, options, you can select which one is, is in right chronological order. Okay. Yeah. Suras 11 upon 16. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Nehai Singh third one and then Shima third one and then Shachin uh, C. Okay. Uh, yes, uh, मेरी तरफ से streaming शुरू है, no problem. हमारी तरफ से streaming हो रही है, no problem. Uh, okay, so yes, now I'm going to show you the right answer of this particular question. So the right answer of this particular question is third one. First of all, दोस्तों जैसे आप 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 अपनी screen में देख सकते हैं, on your screen you can see right now कि यहाँ पर जो ops exactly जो आप देख पा रहे हैं, वो ये है, मैं आपको बताता हूँ. First one, advancement of learning. Then Paradise Lost and then Matt Flacknow and then you have AC concerning human understanding. So yes, this one will be the right answer. Okay. Advancement of Learning by Francis Bacon. Then Paradise Lost by John Milton. Matt Flacknow by John Dryden. And AC concerning human understanding by just John Locke. John Locke me dosto AC, uh, AC concerning human understanding me mind is a tableau rasa at birth. This one is really important point जहाँ पर John Locke ने बात की थी. Next one question you have on your screen. This is Matt Flacknow is an attack on Dryden's literary rival. So you have Richard Flacknow, Thomas Sadwell, John Wilmot and Matthew Pryor. So from here you can select the right answer. Please select the right answer and write it down on comment box. Uh, okay, Indra, uh, your score 5-9. Suraj, 12-17. Okay. Okay, great. So yes, I have got the answer B. Uh, B. Uh, all the learner are saying that B is the right answer, second one. So now I'm going to show you the right answer of this particular question. So the right answer is Matt Flacknow is an attack on Dryden's literary rabble. So this one is the right answer, Thomas Sadwell. Second one is the right answer. Wow, learners, uh, great response. I'm so happy for you. So next one question you have on your screen. So this is the next one question. Put the following books of Pope in a sequence of publication. Answer the question with the help of code given below. So please you can select the this one is also a question on chronological order. So from here you can easily understand yes key how you are going to um, uh, make correct this one question. So please write down your answer on comment box. Okay Gargi saying C is the right answer. Okay Gargi just... Uh, other learners, please hurry up, write down your answer on comment box. Hurry up. Okay, C. Firdos is also saying C. Daisy, Aranjum, C. Okay, Richaramya, C. Okay. So let's see which one is the right answer of this particular question. So yes, uh, okay, now I'm going to show you the right answer of this particular question. Yes, C is the right answer of this particular question. You have C, fourth one, Sabse Pahle and AC on criticism. And then, yeah, Iske baad, dosto, second one, the rape of the lock. And then after that, you have first one, Dunce Yard. And then later on, you have third one, AC on man. So yes, this one is the right answer. Mero ko sirf do works pata hai, usse guess kya. Great, Indra. Yes, this one is a, a great track, technique. Always learners, if you have one option, two option, if you have any option, aata hai, so from there you can easily uh, uh, try to relate the, those things. So, when you have the right answer, tak sakte hai, so yes, uh, C is the right answer. Wow, great Seema, uh, you have great score. Okay, Momita is also have um, 18 upon 19, great. Next one question you have on your screen, this is... In the rape of the log, Pope repeatedly compares Belinda to the sun, the moon, the north star, the road. Wow, great. This one is a really awesome question and one of the easiest questions. Learners will answer. Yeah. Uh, okay, yes. Uh, I think you will answers the answers. Sabhi learners ka correct answer hoga. Correct, correct. Oh, Rasmi Kauri is saying C star. Oh, oh my God. It's not right. Uh, no, no, it's not C. Rasmi, uh, Rasmi is saying C. How you can say that C? Uh, in the rape of the log, uh, 
पोप हैज कंपेयर बेलिंडा टू द सन यस या या ग्रेट यस उसके हेयर स्टार बने थे ना कि बेलिंडा का कंपेरिजन था ओके सो यस दिस वन इज द राइट आंसर ओके या ए इज द राइट आंसर सन बेलिंडा का कंपेरिजन सन से किया गया यस यस राइट प्लीज यस आपको रश्मि थोड़ा सा पढ़ना चाहिए अच्छे से हमेशा ऑलवेज क्वेश्चन को बहुत अच्छे से पहले फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू मस्ट अंडरस्टैंड कि क्या पूछना चाह रहा है कैसी चीजें हैं सो यस प्लीज नेक्स्ट वन क्वेश्चन ऑन योर स्क्रीन हु एमंग द फॉलोइंग वाज नॉट अ मेंबर ऑफ द स्क्रिबलर्स क्लब यस हु एमंग द फॉलोइंग वाज नॉट अ मेंबर ऑफ स्क्रिबलर क्लब थॉमस पानेल अलेक्जेंडर पोप जोसेफ एडिशन जॉन गे सो यू हैव दीज ऑप्शन दीज फोर ऑप्शन या ऑलवेज गार्गी जो यूट्यूब पर होता है सो ऑलवेज हमें जो कमेंट सुनते हैं वो लेट मिलते हैं बट अगर बात की जाए अन अकेडमी पर सो अन अकेडमी पर विद इन अ फ्यू सेकेंड अन अकेडमी इज लाइक व्हाट्सएप जैसे आपने व्हाट्सएप पे मैसेज किया सो जस्ट पॉप अप होता है एग्जैक्टली अन अकेडमी में वैसे ही होता है लेकिन यहाँ पर थोड़ा सा लेट मिलता है आई uh, थिंक uh, uh, लगभग थर्टी टू थर्टी टू फोर्टी सेकेंड्स Okay, so yes, now I'm going to show you the right answer of this particular question. So the right answer is C is the right answer. Joseph Edison was not the member of Scribbler Club. Yeah, Scribbler Club से Joseph Edison नहीं थे. और please दोस्तों आप मुझे बता सकते हैं कि Joseph Edison किस club से थे? Because uh, coffee houses club during neoclassical era, you can see. so uh, that is different one okay so yes now i am going to show you the next one question so the next one is who does alexander pope refer to in the following lines born to no pride inheriting no strife nor marrying discord in a noble wife is stranger to civil and religious ways the good man walked inoxious through his age so kisko refer kiya hai yahan par so please you can select so you have यस किट कैट क्लब या राइट आंसर ग्रेट अर्पिता थैंक यू सो मच फॉर योर आंसर या पोप्स फादर पोप्स हिमसेल्फ डॉक्टर अवध नॉट द ड्यूक ऑफ मार्ल बॉर्स ओके या ग्रेट ग्रेट लर्नर्स थैंक यू सो मच फॉर योर रिस्पॉन्स आई थिंक आई हैव गॉट द राइट आंसर सो नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू द राइट आंसर ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर क्वेश्चन सो द राइट आंसर इज यस ऑन योर स्क्रीन नाउ यू कैन सी so this one is the right answer pope's father yeah pope's father this one is the right answer dear learners so now i am going to show you the next one question we have an awesome practice session so dosto please aap har ek mere practice session mein zarur aaye kal main an academy par aapki special class dunga 5 pm hi timing same rakhunga so please dosto zarur aaye an academy ke platform par an academy the learning application install kijiye google play store se aur aaiye meri classes ko join karenge wahan par bahut jaldi comments milte hain even hum aapko poll bhi dete hain jahan se aap apne options ko click kar sakte hain so next one question on your screen so this is pope revised the rape of the lock three times in the final revision of the poem in 1717 he inserted a speech by so belinda clarissa betty or thalestrotes so please you can select the right answer from these four options okay yeah great learners great So yes, now I'm going to show you the right answer of this particular question. So yes, the right answer is yeah, Clarissa. Yes, दोस्तों जो 1717 का edition आया था Rape of the Lock का. So Rape of the Lock का जो last edition आया, so उस edition में दोस्तों यहाँ पर एक speech insert की गई थी, and this was the speech by Clarissa. Yes, this was the speech by Clarissa. Yes, so second one is the right answer. Yeah, Suraj. 17 upon 23 and other learners please next one question on your screen who among the following translated homer so yes you have option thomas gray samuel johnson lever goldsmith and alexander pope so from here you can select the right answer oh momita 22 upon 23 great and 8 upon 15 uh, indra and seema khan 22 upon 23 great and then firdaus 
फोर दुर्गा फोर ओके ग्रेट ओ ये फोर ऑप्शंस बताया जा रहा है सॉरी सो नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू द राइट आंसर ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर क्वेश्चन सो द राइट आंसर इज या द राइट आंसर इज फोर्थ ओन अलेक्जेंडर पोप यस होमर इज ट्रांसलेटेड बाय अलेक्जेंडर पोप यस लैश राम करुणा पोप डोंट कॉल दिस होमर फॉलोइंग ट्रांसलेटेड होमर सो सो देखिए अगर लैश राम करुणा इज सेइंग दैट पोप डोंट कॉल दिस होमर या उन्होंने होमर नहीं कहा बट प्लीज ये तो है कि होमर का ट्रांसलेशन जितने भी आपके दिए हुए हैं यहाँ पर ऑप्शन थॉमस ग्रे सैमुअल जॉनसन अलीवर गोल्ड स्मिथ अलेक्सेंडर पोप सो इन इनमें से सिर्फ पोप ही थे जिन्होंने ट्रांसलेट किया था होमर के वर्क्स को नेक्स्ट वन क्वेश्चन The four moral essays of Alexander Pope are addressed to carefully selected uh, figures identified. So please, you can identify the selected figure from here. So from this particular option, so please select the uh, right answer from these four options. Okay, you yeah, search in twenty upon twenty four. Great. Rasmi twenty one twenty four okay Suraj eighteen twenty four great learners uh, higher score दोस्तों देखिए okay Indra is saying I don't know great so uh, R and Jum third one and Vikas is saying one Seema B Okay, so let's guess, please. Okay, so dear learners, now I'm going to show you the right answer of this particular question. So the right answer is, uh, yeah, the right answer of this particular question is its third one: Martha Blount, Lord Cobham, and then Bathurst, and then you have Burlington. So this one is the right answer. Okay, yeah, this one is the right answer. You can search on Google Moral Essays of Alexander Pope. Next one question you have on your screen. This is with whom was Dr. Johnson intimately associated in his personal life? So you have Boswell, Dryden, Alexander Pope, Lord Bolingbroke. So which one is the right answer? Yeah, great. so yeah great updating uh, suraj is uh, updating his score okay great learners thank you so much for your response okay so now i am going to show you the right answer of this particular question so the right answer is it's boswell yeah it's boswell first one is the right answer it's boswell या दोस्तों वैसे आंसर नहीं लिखा हुआ है लेकिन फर्स्ट वन इज द राइट आंसर बॉसवेल इज द राइट आंसर ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन ओके यस सैमुअल जॉनसन वाज पर्सनली और यू कैन से इंटीमेटली एसोसिएटेड विद बॉसवेल ओके या नेक्स्ट वन क्वेश्चन यू हैव ऑन योर स्क्रीन दिस इज विद हुम वाज डॉक्टर जॉनसन इंटीमेटली एसोसिएटेड ओके यस दिस वन ए एंड नेक्स्ट वन वर्सेस ऑन द डेथ ऑफ डॉक्टर स्विफ्ट वाज रिटन बाय सो यस यू हैव क्वेश्चन Jonathan Swift, Alexander Pope, Samuel Johnson, James Boswell. So from here you can select the right answer. Verses on the death of Doctor Swift was written by. Okay, so now I'm going to show you the right answer of this question. So the right answer is, yeah, it's A is the right answer. Jonathan Swift. Jonathan Swift is the right answer of this particular question. Okay, next one question on your screen. So this is the next one question. What says? Okay, yeah. Uh, next one question in the lines with gold jewels cover every part and hide with ornaments their want of art essay on criticism pope rejects the follow nature fallacy artificiality aesthetic order or poor taste so from these four option you can select the right answer oh neha priya is saying second one uh, other learners please
Okay, artificiality. Everyone is saying that these are correct answers. So now I'm going to show you the correct answer of this particular question. Okay, on your screen. So now you can see the right answer of this particular question on your screen. So this is second one. Yes, he is rejecting artificiality. Yeah, yes, he is rejecting artificiality. Yeah, so second one is the right answer of this question. Next one question on your screen. This is who claimed I have not published a single paper that is not written in a spirit of benevolence and with a love of mankind. So you have Pope, Dryden, Sweep and Edison. So from here you can select the right answer. Lathram, Karuna, third one. Okay, other learners, what others are saying? Suzerus, Suras, 20 upon 27. Okay. So which one is the right answer? Please select the right answer from here. So now I'm going to show you the right answer. This is the time to show the right answer of this question. So uh, dear learners, now you can see the right answer on your screen. So this is addition. Yes, addition. This is the right answer. Addition. Fourth one is the right answer. Great. Uh, next one question on your screen. Please update your score on comment box. Hurry up. Jaldi se update kijiye. Uh, next one question. Which of the following statement on pathetic fallacy is not true? So from here you can select from these four options. Uh, you can select the right answer. Yeah. Momita 27 upon 29. And then Indra 11 upon 20. And other learners. Please. Suras 20 upon 28. Okay. Uh, so please, 24 Sachin. So please select the right answer. Okay, yeah, D. Okay, boss, sorry, Lennis, sir, sorry, I am on duty. Koi baat nahi hai. Uh, uh, you may leave the class. Okay. So now I'm going to show you the right answer. So the right answer is D. The term was originally used by Alexander Pope in his pastoral. No, it's not right. Uh, Alexander Pope ne uh, pathetic fallacy se inka koi relation nahi hai. That's why this one is incorrect. Okay. Next one question on your screen. This is the expression. Thy hand great anar occurs in a satire by so, Dryden, Pope, Johnson or Sweet. So please select the right answer from these particular options. Uh, good evening. So please select the right answer. Okay, Virdos is saying second one. Ras, uh, Ramlal, okay. C is saying, uh, yeah, D. Okay, Momita, B. Next one, Durga, B. Shachin, C. Okay, so now C. Let's see which, uh, who is right. Okay, so here is the right answer on Joe's screen. So yes, you can see the right answer. Yeah, it's B is the right answer. Pope, thy hand great anarch occurs in a satire by Alexander Pope. Yes, this one is the right answer. B is the right answer of this particular question. Next was question. Whom does Alexander Pope satirize in the portrait of Esporus? So you have Lady Wotley Monte, Joseph Addition, Lord Sapsbury, and then you have Lord Harvey. So from here, we can select the right answer. 21 upon 29, Suras, Great Suras. Momita 29 upon 31. Great Momita. Okay, so select the, please select the right answer. It's, uh, oh, someone is, um, Saurabh is saying D and then Rasmi uh, is also saying D, Rinki C. And other learners, Daisy is saying D. Okay. So now I'm going to show you the right answer of this question. So dear learners, hurry up, please write your answer, roll your uh, option on comment box. Then I'm going to show you the right answer. Yes, so the right answer of this particular question is it's D, 
Lord Harvey. This one is the right answer. Yeah, great D is the right answer. Congrats, dear learners. Bohat acha or bohat acha performance. Uh, so you have next one question. Who of the following is not a periodical essayist? So you have Jonathan Sweet, Joseph Addison, Richard Steele, Lancelot, and Drill. So who is not a periodical essayist? So please select the right answer. And dear learners, this one is the last question uh, of uh, yeah. In today's class, so yes, this one will be the right uh, question. Uh, yes, this one will be the last question. Okay, yeah. So yes, please. Uh, yeah, great, great. Wow. Neha, Vikas, Durga, Momita, Koel, Rasmi, uh, and other learners. Thank you so much for your active participation. Okay, so yes, now I'm going to show you the right answer of this question. So the right answer is Lancelot and Drews. Okay, yes, D is the right answer. Lancelot and Drews is the right answer. Sabi periodical essays hain Jonathan Sweet, Joseph Addison, Richard Steele, but Lancelot and Drews is not a periodical essayist. So yes, this one is the right. Uh, yes. ओके सो डियर लर्नर्स बहुत-बहुत धन्यवाद आपका मेरे साथ बने रहने के लिए दोस्तों अगली क्लासेस में मैं आपके साथ फिर से मिलने वाला हूं और यहां पर दोस्तों हम बात करेंगे कुछ और भी बेहतरीन क्वेश्चंस पर अगली क्लासेस में और जो दोस्तों इसका नेक्स्ट पार्ट होगा यानी कि अपकमिंग जो दोस्तों नेक्स्ट पार्ट होगा उस अपकमिंग नेक्स्ट पार्ट में मैं आपके लिए दोस्तों बहुत ही अच्छे क्वेश्चंस लेकर के आने वाला हूं और दोस्तों अगर आप चाहते हैं मेरे कोर्सेज को अन अकेडमी पर ज्वाइन करना सो दोस्तों आपका बहुत बहुत स्वागत है आप अन अकेडमी में मेरे कोर्सेज को ज्वाइन कर सकते हैं फॉर कंप्लीट कोर्स ज्वाइन मी ऑन अन अकेडमी प्लस दोस्तों मेरा जो रेफरल कोड होगा वो होगा एकेएस राजवीर लाइव ओके राजवीर लाइव दोस्तों प्लीज आप मेरा रेफरल कोड राजवीर लाइव यूज करके uh, 10% का डिस्काउंट लेकर के आप मेरे कंप्लीट कोर्स को ज्वाइन कर सकते हैं दोस्तों मैं आपको बता दूं 3 मंथ 6 मंथ 12 मंथ 24 मंथ ये किसी भी सब्सक्रिप्शन को आप ले सकते हैं और साथ में दोस्तों जो मेरे ऑनगोइंग कोर्सेज हैं ऑन योर स्क्रीन यू कैन सी राइट नाउ सो आई हैव अ नंबर ऑफ कोर्सेज दोस्तों अगर आपके पास अगर स्क्रीन में अगर आप देख पा रहे हो सो यस सिक्स कोर्सेज आर ऑलरेडी रनिंग ऑन प्लेटफार्म ओके सो ये जो दोस्तों सिक्स आपके कंप्लीटली कोर्सेज हैं ये आपके लिए अवेल है तो दोस्तों बैच कोर्स है हमारे पास जिसमें मैं आपकी 10 यूनिट्स कवर करने वाला हूं ओके एंड देन प्लीज लर्नर्स स्टे ट्यून रहे एंड देन लास्ट में मुझसे स्कोर शेयर करें अपना मैं जस्ट देखना चाहूंगा कि सबसे अच्छा स्कोर किसका रहा सो प्लीज आप शेयर कीजिए कमेंट बॉक्स में तब तक मैं बताता हूं सो so, दोस्तों जो कंप्लीट कोर्स है और बैच कोर्स है 10 यूनिट्स मैं आपकी कवर करने वाला हूं विद इन 4 मंथ आई विल कवर 4 टू 5 मंथ ऑल द 10 यूनिट्स एंड देन वी हैव क्रैश कोर्स प्रैक्टिस कोर्स थ्रू एमसीक्यूज थ्रू बुलेट पॉइंट्स एंड देन अमेरिकन राइटिंग एंड एवरी सिंगल टॉपिक आई एम गोइंग टू कवर विद इन टाइम ओके सो थैंक यू सो मच लर्नर्स प्लीज यस सूरज 22 अपॉन 31 Okay, so dear learners, please share your score on um, comment box 23 and then Rasmi 29 upon 32. Wow, uh, great. Mera kitna right hai? Don't do, Sarji. Okay, theek hai, uh, no problem. And then Rinky 22 upon 30. And other learners, please. So dear learners, thank you so much. अगले जो अगला session होगा दोस्तों वो आने academy पर आएगा. Please आप मेरे uh, telegram group से जुड़ करके या फिर दोस्तों आप मेरी uh, मुझे follow करके आने academy पर आप complete classes ले सकते हैं. साथ में दोस्तों जो free classes हैं वो भी आप enjoy कर सकते हैं. Okay? So thank you so much. Next time फिर से मिलता हूँ दोस्तों. तब तक के लिए नमस्कार और आपका uh, वैसे दोस्तों मैं उम्मीद करूँगा कि आप अच्छी preparation कर रहे होंगे और एक अच्छी preparation के साथ दोस्तों एक better scoring करेंगे और अपना better रिजल्ट देंगे। So thank you so much. Good night. और दोस्तों जो plus learners हैं मिलते हैं 7 pm पर। Okay? Okay. Bye. Good night.